but tonight we are talking to the leader of another party. Yes, <laughs> yes. Which similar. Is, the name sounds very similar. <laughs> yes, with K in front. So right now we are with Kun Gon. <laughs> <laughs> we are now with Kun Gon, Jatika Vanit, leader of GLA party, or their party. สวัสดีครับคุณกอนสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ First of all, congratulations for your new role. Thank you. Freshly minted. Freshly minted. Voted in just uh, on Saturday. Uh -huh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. I know that the huge task is awaiting you. Yeah. Indeed, um, it's been a lot of work already so far. Uh, we we knew that uh, this is going to require uh, a lot of effort, um, but I think uh, the timing is absolutely right. I think the the country definitely needs a uh, a different kind of option. Okay. Um, it needs professional management, yeah, right. and, and that's right. what we're going to be trying to offer. Okay, let's let's start with the name of the party first. Certainly, in English, it's, it, it, you you call it there, right? There? No, we call it GLA. GLA. Uh, no, uh, no English, English translation. No translation. Okay. We talked about it. Okay. Um, but frankly, uh, I, I guess it could be there, as okay. you say, or brave, okay, or okay. fearless, courage. Um, none of that uh, carries. Every meaning of the word "gla" that we okay. we wanted, okay. not least because uh, "gla" has a an important meaning. Okay. Uh, what does it mean exactly? I mean, in ton gla, um, as in uh, a, a new new shoot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And that would wouldn't sound right to be translated as "there," right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, and, so it, the and, overall and meaning. Mo most importantly, yeah, yeah. most importantly, um, well, we we went through quite a fun. <coughs> Uh, process of mm. basically asking the public to help us uh, yeah. come up with a name, and uh, we were awestruck by the fact that we receive about 120,000 suggestions. <laughs> um, so we had to sort through all that, and then we met uh, and and basically asked the question: uh, What is it that the public is is looking for from a new party? Okay. Um, and we concluded that uh, the party, uh, the public, generally feels that you know, there's an enough talk, enough. Good ideas okay. uh, and good intention out there, but uh, what is needed is mm. is a party with the courage uh, to actually see. get down and do the work. I and see. so we we focus on that word, okay. uh, courage, gla, okay. uh, there, gla. In and fact, that exactly the word you use on the day you announced your resignation from the Democrat Party. That did I? But the biggest failure of the past administration was that they didn't have the courage to change. Uh, funny gla, enough, gla, I mean the funny enough, question. also. Um, uh, three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I wrote a book mm -hmm. uh, about Thai entrepreneurship, and uh, I highlighted uh, 12 examples of uh, young entrepreneurs that are doing great things uh, in the Thai business scene. And the book was entitled Dare to Do. Kla Lui Mei Kua Lom in Thai. So uh, it, it was, you know, there was no intent at that All time, right. <laughs> but I think it, it's, it's consistent with what I generally feel. Okay. Uh, to be what the country needs, so. uh, a bit of courage uh -huh. um, to do what we know uh, needs to be done. Yeah, so I'm sure it struck the right chord when you saw the entry with the name Gla, right? Well, out of the <laughs> 120,000, uh, there were 12 uh, suggestions for exactly that okay. that name, Gla. Uh, so, um, w you know, we're, we're, we're giving them a little little reward for okay. for their help. Mm. Okay. Good. You said your party is startup party. What yeah. do you mean by that? It will be very business focused, business driven. Uh, uh, well, I think um, uh, e economics and and people's livelihoods uh, are going to be key issues uh, for all, for all of us, and certainly key issue for the party. Um, but startup, for first of all, because we are a startup party, mm -hmm. we're, we're new. But also, um, we we feel that uh, what needs to be done, as I said, is is, uh, is sort of get to it attitude. Um, that the, the world's changing very fast. Uh, we can't be waiting for everything to, to be all completely perfect and ready. Um, and we believe that uh, before you know, uh, doing something. And we feel that the best way of, of, of learning is also by, by doing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you won't know uh, how things will play out until you've actually uh, sort of Got on and 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 and, and do something. So we kind of feel we want to emphasize uh, the fact that we need to 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 learn fast. Uh, as they say, as they say in the startup community, also mm -hmm. fail fast, fail cheap. Okay. If, if you're going to fail at all, <laughs> um, learn from your mistakes and, mm -hmm. and and start again. And and that's what we do. Already, for example, uh, we've we've 
sort of uh, had a significant amendment of our logo. Mm. Uh, we, we registered our name and logo with the uh, EEC uh, Election Commission on Valentine's Day, 14th of February. And uh, in the founders uh, meeting this past Saturday, we already voted for to amend it, um, mm. simply because of you know, some feedback that we received and we thought yeah, these were sensible feedback. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and there were suggestions of uh, an improved version uh, of our existing logo, so we said, "Yeah, let's go with that." What was uh, wrong? Was what? What was wrong with the not logo? Not much. <laughs> it's just that I think it now, frankly speaking, looks uh, looks firmer, looks okay. stronger, okay. looks more purposeful. Mm -hmm. um, and and I think our attitude is, well, you know, we're not going to get stuck on uh, something just because <clears throat> uh, it, it was already approved. Um, if something uh, that's clearly an improvement comes along, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in our logo, our thoughts, our ideas, our policies. Okay in the future. Um, we are ready to listen and make any changes that are necessary. But you were in politics for 15 years. Yeah. You must have known the traditional politics yeah. or the dirty games. What <laughs> the difference that you are offering from Gala Party? Well, no dirty games for a start. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I, you know, 15 years, but, but really most significantly, these five, five, past five months uh, in this current parliament <clears throat> really emphasized to me uh, the fact that, uh, with all due respect to my old colleagues uh, in, in, in Parliament today, um, this Parliament, I don't think, uh, is what the country needs. Um, uh, I, uh, there's not enough what we might call domain knowledge, uh, expert knowledge, uh, in fields that are necessary um, to, uh, to improve uh, Thailand's competitiveness, to improve the quality of life for Thais. Mm. Um, not enough people in Parliament today know enough about what needs to be done. Um, and I think politics needs to change. Uh, it must not be just the preserve of, uh, well, old-time politicians. Um, we must open it up for uh, people with good intent who are experts in their field, and especially in fields that are important for the country's future. Allow them to have a platform, allow them to have a role, which is why I talk about GLA also mm. as, a, as, a, as, a, as a platform um, for uh, people with ideas and, and, and intent mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to, to use the party as a platform to affect their ideas and affect change. Um, so we will be a platform uh, for people who may not previously have ever thought mm -hmm. of wanting to be involved in politics. Mm -hmm. And I think the rules. Uh, of the game uh, allows uh, us to be able to succeed um, with that kind of a structure. Mm -hmm. So what, what kind of people that you expect or you would want to be in your party? Um, have you, do you have a list of potential uh, members? We, 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 we do. Um, well, f for example, uh, let's just uh, look at who's, who's walked in okay. um, so far. Uh, one of the uh, deputy leader uh, who was voted in on Saturday is Kun uh, Warubut Unjai. Now he's, you know, he started the business from from scratch, uh, a small stationery store, which he developed into a nationwide uh, stationery chain called Office Mate. Mm -hmm. It was acquired by Central Group. Uh, they merged it with B2S, and he became CEO of that entire operation. Uh, so having had a successful career in building a business from mm -hmm. almost nothing. Mm -hmm. Uh, into a company that's now listed in the stock exchange, he decided uh, that he wants to spend um, the rest of his working time in using experience or putting that experience to, 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 um, to public good uh, mm -hmm. by participating uh, through GLA as okay. a politician. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's an example. On the other, uh, I don't, wouldn't call it extreme, but mm -hmm. uh, a different kind of walk-in, also just voted in as deputy leader, is Kun Pimuk Simarod, okay. um, who, other than being a businessman okay. himself mm -hmm. uh, with Sasco Group, um, was, what, 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. MP for Thairak Thai Party. Okay. Um, once Thairak Thai was uh, disbanded, he, he left politics and went back to business. Um, and uh, in seeing uh, the emergence of GLA and what we're trying to do, okay. um, he approached me and said, this is good. This is what I've been waiting for. I want to do this. When you, when you say walk in, these people just 
come and see you I, and I say, I want to join you correct? without being persuaded to do correct. so? I, now, with Kun Pimuk, I, I knew him before. Okay. With Kun Warwood, mm. I didn't know him at all. Okay. Um, I, I knew of him um, and uh, was very pleased to, 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 to learn that he was interested. We met, we talked, mm. and he's deputy leader. Right. So <laughs> this really is uh, a platform that is mm. open to all. Nice. Um, doesn't matter. You know, in my little speech uh, after I was voted in on Saturday, um, I, I made the point that you know, I don't care who you voted for in the past, mm -hmm. I don't care who you were members of, or even which party you might have been an MP for okay. in the past. You know, as long as you have good intent uh, towards the country and you, you're willing to make sacrifices to work for all ties, mm -hmm. um, and you know, you're not interested in uh, the politics of conflict mm -hmm. uh, that has existed over the past decade, uh, then uh, GLA uh, welcomes you. Any plan to attract 55 MPs from Gla, from <laughs> Gao Glai party? Oh, no, no. Um, we're not in the business of, of uh, trying to pull uh, MPs from other parties. In fact, it's, I'm a little disappointed that not all, what, 80, uh, 75? How, yeah. how, how, how many they did? They had to they begin They claim with. to be 55 of them, right? Yeah, I wish... 60 days to move them. I, I think it was... In, I always felt that it was important that uh, as, as many, if not all, of the uh, Future Forward Party MPs should, should stay together. Okay. Uh, frankly, uh, and stay together as the opposition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important for democracy that we have a strong opposition. Um, they were voted okay. to be in opposition mm -hmm. to Prang uh, uh, and And um, uh, so, you know, I think it would it, it, it would reflect their uh, good intent okay. um, if, if they were to do that. They have 55, that's not bad. Okay. Mm, and yeah. um, I wish them what, every luck. What if some of them come to see you and say, Kun Kwan, I like you and I like your party's well, agenda. I, I, <laughs> I, I want to join you. I, I, it's no secret that some of them did. Okay. Uh, not to me directly, right. but come to see some of our people to talk about po the possibility mm. uh, of, of, of joining and your reaction, And your reaction? And we made it clear okay. that um, from our perspective, uh, we're not here to take any shortcuts towards having MPs in, mm. in the House. Uh, we didn't even compete in the last election, mm. so we didn't feel, we would feel awkward. We don't think it's entirely democratic okay. uh, for us to have uh, MPs representing okay. our party without even going through an election. <laughs> so your answer is even, no. If, even if uh, it was still in, in, uh, correct according to, okay. the, to the rules. And your answer is no. Yeah, so our answer okay. was no. A firm no. <laughs> firm no. <laughs> uh, firm no. Um, no MP, I made it very clear um, in, uh, in my statements. Uh -huh. uh, no MP until we've competed in an election. And what about your old contacts, your familiar contacts from the Democrat Party, yeah. like Kun Abhisit Vechachiwa, or perhaps others, <laughs> if they like to well, join Kun, you. Kun Abhisit is still <laughs> very much uh, a, a member of the Democrat Party. Okay. I, I see him as a lifetime member <laughs> of the Democrat Party. Um, but you wouldn't hesitate to roll a red pocket carpet welcome if he decides I mean, to join you. I mean, uh, I would think about it, actually. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I, 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 meaning, I, I think uh, it's, I don't think the party is for him. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think he is for life uh, okay. a Democrat, and his future path. I'm sure he will have one. Mm -hmm. He's back with the Democrat Party, mm -hmm. uh, maybe as leader. Okay. Um, it's, his future is not with Glad. You still so see that possibility of him making a comeback. I see it as a probability. Probability. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I, I think, I don't know, given what's happening uh, with uh, the party at the moment, okay. I think it's just a, yeah. uh, a matter of time. But what about other young gen from the yeah. Democrat Party, like Aitim Kun Parit Vacharasin? He's been very active politically. Yes, yes he has. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I like what he's doing. Um, I talked with him, we, we, we talked just a couple of days ago, uh, just to keep up with what each one of us is, mm. is, is up to. Um, he's actually. Uh, teamed up with uh, a couple of other young guys who I was very close to when we were all at the Democrat Party together, whether it's Fuadi, Pistawan, or Kun Prom, mm -hmm. um, we could say it. And uh, so we are very familiar with each other. Um, uh, I think is actually committed to his uh, commercial uh, activity at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, he's doing a startup on the, I think, in the educational field. So um, uh, he won't be active in, in politics, at least not 
for the next year or so. Well, but okay. he's one of the working groups. But in the future, who knows? Mm. Yeah. Um, who knows? Uh, there, there are certain things we, a lot we agree on, certain things we disagree on, that's normal. Um, and uh, so as I said, uh, we're, open, we're open to all. But for now, um, other than myself, we have Kun Atawit, who mm -hmm. was voted in as uh, Secretary General for the party. We are the only two mm. um, ex-Democrat uh, MP uh, in Kla. In fact, there are only three ex-MPs altogether in the party, the other one being Kun Pimuk from, okay. from originally Thai Rak Thai. Mm. Uh, everybody else is, uh, is fresh mm. uh, to politics, which I think is, is, is the right thing. Uh, every day I'm meeting um, people, very interesting people from different fields uh, who want to be a Pukla um, <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and join the party yeah. either as a, uh, as a potential MP or you know, mm -hmm. in support with, with uh, ideas and mm -hmm. using whatever expertise they have. Yes. If the first move of election will be the election of Bangkok governor, right. are you targeting? In this landscape. Well, first of all, I'm not sure whether the first election will be the election for the BMA. <laughs> uh, um, there'll probably be, in my, I, I'm expecting there'll be election uh, in provinces first. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, Bangkok will probably come last. Uh, if your question is, will we field a candidate? Mm -hmm. um, we're not committed either way at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. Apparently, if it happens next month, we're not ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's in a year's time, um, and it it uh, it suits our it serves our, our mm. main strategy uh, to be the uh, the option uh, of uh, for Thai people mm. in the next general election. Then we'll do it. But my main goal mm -hmm. um, is uh, to be leading the government um, after the next general election. Mm. Uh, anything that we do in between time, uh, if it if it uh, it rhymes with that mm -hmm. okay. and, and supports that main goal, mm. we'll consider it. Yeah. Um, but if it doesn't and it's merely a distraction, we won't. Mm -hmm. yeah. But local elections should serve as a good test of how your party will be received by the people, That's, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it, it, I, I won't do it mm. just to test. Okay. If you really want to test, you can just do a poll. Oh. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but as I said, um, if we feel we can serve the, mm. the Bangkok people and in doing so, um, uh, help us uh, win the subsequent okay. general election, then um, we'll do it. And I, I, I think it's important to, uh, to have a clear goal. Um, and the reason why we're all doing this, the reason why I'm doing this, is because uh, we think that we need a different kind of government. Mm -hmm. um, I think current events is indicative of the fact that um, the, the current structure of, uh, of the current government just isn't serving uh, the needs of the country and the needs of the people. Um, and I, I, I need to focus on that okay. um, and, and make sure that, you know, come the time, um, we're in a position uh, to serve the country, serve the people um, through a different kind of government, a more professional one. No, but between now and the next election? Could be three years. Yeah, three years. Yeah. And what, how do you foresee the activities that your party will be engaging in? Too? Well, there's a lot, there's a lot to do. Um, you know, we, we, we need to have re uh, open up for members. We need to have uh, the, the legal representation of members in every single constituency. We intend to field a candidate in every constituency. So that's 350 constituencies, mm -hmm. a lot of work. More importantly, uh, is to communicate uh, with the general public as to what kind of a party we are, um, what it is that we intend to do uh, for them um, come the next election. Uh, and, and, and prepare for, for the date. I, I strongly suspect that even with the, the, the greater um, majority that the government now has mm. subsequent to the dissolution of uh, uh, Future Forward, um, my sense is that the election might be uh, sooner uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than later, and we need to prepare for that. Okay. Um, but even if it's not, um, then you know, we, we, we can wait. Unfortunately, mm. uh, the more uh, we wait, I think the more the country is going to suffer. Oh, okay. um, and, and that's my frustration. <laughs> so you'd rather see sooner, coming sooner, <laughs> rather know, than later. I, I, I would go as far as saying that if, if you were to ask the public today okay. mm -hmm. um, whether they, 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 um, 
like to see an election sooner uh, rather than later. Mm -hmm. I, my sense right now is that the majority will say, let's have an election tomorrow. <laughs> How do you plan to mobilize financial support for the party? Can you borrow money from someone? <laughs> well, I'm not sure whether borrowing in itself is illegal. You just have to make sure that you know, uh, you don't borrow almost 200 million from the party leader. I don't have that kind of money to lend anyway to grab, so I think I'm safe. Um, but uh, as broadly as possible uh, mm. is, is the answer. Um, there's a lot of uh, people indicating that we need to, to provide support. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> we, we're, we're a small party, we're a new party, uh, mm -hmm. and um, we don't intend, we don't have a strategy to, I, I know how other major parties mm. spend money, and it is not my intention to spend money that way. Okay. Um, so uh, we won't be needing as much money as mm -hmm. some of the bigger parties. Uh, and um, so I, I think we need to, you know, do it startup style, lean and mean. Yeah. yeah. Crowdfunding, crowdsourcing, uh, correct. donation. Correct. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. So the, the mm -hmm. stunning victory by the future forward party in the election yeah. last March yeah. must have offered you a lot of lessons. It did. And actually, mm -hmm. I, I'll say mm -hmm. more than that, mm -hmm. um, how they operated subsequent to the election mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. <coughs> offers all of us uh, a lot of lessons. Um, I was saying that the, the current parliament is pretty poor, um, but I think uh, Future Forward has, has performed relatively very well um, with, within parliament in terms of, uh, in terms of the content, okay. um, in terms of the professionalism mm -hmm. of the way they uh, present their, their ideas. And I think uh, the key to that partly, other than discipline um, in, in managing the party, key to that was that uh, they fielded in their party list mm. um, a number of uh, candidates who had specialty knowledge, mm. who, who came in with expertise in, in, in certain different fields. And it meant that their MPs had more to say mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, about various issues than MPs from other parties who were basically generalists. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you look at my old party, uh, the, the, uh, the top 20 uh, in the party list is traditionally made up according to seniority. Okay. Um, and, and that doesn't serve the same purpose in Parliament in terms mm. of uh, uh, action yes. uh, in the same way that Future Forward yes. demonstrated. Mm. So we, we, I think that's, there is a lot of uh, positive to, mm. to learn from them. And it's, well, let's, let's see how they, uh, they, they do. Um, in, in the new guys, but I fully expect that uh, there will still be a force to be reckoned with. Who are the main group of supporters that you like your party to be appealing to? Old generation, young generation, or like middle class professionals? Everybody who wants to see a stronger, better Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, and that must be a lot of people. Um, I, I, I don't think we... Uh, we can succeed uh, as a nation um, if we focus on, the, on any single group of demographics uh, mm -hmm. or even regional, uh, one or the other. I think we need to, to uh, be seen and we need to believe in uh, us as a party for, for all times, mm -hmm. all age group from uh, every province. Yeah, mm -hmm. but hard fan or like hardcore fans of Democrat parties will have, have some doubt or some questions in mind whether in the end it would be like another splitting party but join together in the end between Democrat party and GLA party. Mm -hmm. What's your take? <laughs> well, I don't know. If you, if you uh, talk to uh, Democrats today, um, I don't think they have a particularly friendly attitude towards uh, <laughs> uh, me setting up a competing party. Oh, I mm -hmm. um, so I don't intend to uh, be anybody's uh, support party. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't intend uh, to have to answer to, to anybody other than the voting public. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, the, if, if you look at the composition uh, of our team and even the composition of the, of the nine mm -hmm. uh, executive committee members who were voted in on, on Saturday, you see that you know, we're, it, it's quite a varied group from uh, different uh, 
spectrum mm -hmm. uh, of, of society, uh, including um, uh, on previous uh, political affiliations. Um, we, did a, we did a sort of a private uh, <laughs> round of questions mm -hmm. um, as to whom each one of us voted for uh, yes. in the last election. I'm not going to tell you um, <laughs> who voted for what, because that's uh, private information. But I can tell you um, that it, it covers across the political spectrum. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the reason why they're all here at GLA is mm -hmm. because um, we all believe that we need to uh, get over um, voting by, uh, by spectrum, mm -hmm. uh, voting for, for uh, this group or that group um, based on uh, basically conflict and, and, and almost now uh, to a degree based on, on hatred. Mm. Um, I, I don't think any country uh, can succeed um, in, in, uh, in that political environment. Mm -hmm. and, and we're not interested in sowing seeds of dissent or uh, conflict mm. just to win votes. Um, we, we, we really think that the country needs to come together. Um, we're no longer, we shouldn't be red, blue, mm -hmm. orange or whatever. We should all just be ties uh, working together. Mm -hmm. And if you believe that, then GLA is a party for you. I, I know it's too early to ask uh, which other parties that GLA party will want to align itself with, right? But what would be the type of parties that you would not want to work with? Um, I, I'm, you know, I, a, any party that we, we, we think do not have a, 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 an agenda for a better Thailand, mm -hmm. um, I guess w it won't work um, to, to work with. Uh, but uh, as I said, all we're doing at the moment is um, preparing ourselves uh, mm -hmm. to be uh, the main party of choice. And, um, and we'll see how it goes uh, at the time. Mm. Um, we don't even know yet who we're going to be competing with come the day. Mm. Uh, political scenario seems to be changing very rapidly mm. uh, every day. Mm. Um, but you know, we're keeping an open mind. Uh, we certainly are not ruling anybody out okay. uh, as uh, in terms of uh, uh, potential partners. In fact, we want everybody to be working together, as I said. Mm. Um, uh, necessarily, some's going to have to be in opposition, some's going to have to be in government. Um, that's good, and that's the way it should be. Uh, and let the voters decide who, who, who that will be. You must have seen how student activities, doing, yeah. having activities very actively, yes. especially after the dissolution of the disbanded Future yes. Forward Party. But how do you think your GLA party can be appealing to young students? Um, well, I have to say, first of all, that uh, Future Forward has done very well there. Mm -hmm. um, that's stating the obvious. Um, we will be presenting uh, our view, uh, uh, sorry, our uh, vision as to what needs to be done for the country. Um, and we'll be presenting that to the public as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, modes of communication uh, to different groups is obviously necessary. Uh, so we'll have to work on that. But all I can say, at the moment is that uh, I'm entirely um, sympathetic uh, to the students' right to protest peacefully. Um, I protested before, mm -hmm. um, even when I was not, no longer a student. So um, uh, I don't think uh, we, we should berate them for that, or, and, and we certainly uh, uh, should not prevent them from being able to exercise that right. Um, GLA party intends to listen to what they have to say uh, in the same way that we'll be listening to every other mm. uh, demographic uh, groupings. And um, you know, once listened, um, make any uh, suggestions that we think are constructive uh, and will lead to, to some kind of a, a, a peaceful resolution to any conflict that exists, for example. Um, if the main issue of the students is, is concerning uh, the fairness of play um, in the political arena, well, we're ready to agree um, that uh, the Constitution um, is something that should be reviewed. Um, I've said that before, mm. so it's, it's nothing new. Um, and the way towards uh, doing that um, is, uh, is through a, 
a, a coming together of a, of a group of people representing uh, all groups, including the students. Mm -hmm. um, and if the government was to do that, I think it would reduce a lot of the pressure that, is, uh, that they're facing today. Yeah, yeah but mm -hmm. the government has yet to respond to a proposal for an extraordinary house session to debate the students' demand. So what do you think? Well, the house session is up to the parliament, not to the government. But the government has to sort of uh, agree to that somehow. Not really. Mm -hmm. I think the parliament, mm -hmm. if, if they wanted to have a special session, uh, has every right yeah, to... Yeah, they would need uh, support, enough support from the, the MPs. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, but that's not the government. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, and they should... Well, okay, I, I see. You, you, you know, yeah, one hopes that they will yeah, act independently right, from yeah. the government yeah, to right. do so. Mm -hmm. And separately, uh, the government should listen too. Yeah. Um, apparently, if I was uh, Prime Minister for Youth, I would disguise myself yeah. and mm -hmm. go to one of the campuses, yeah. sit down for a few hours by himself and listen. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and uh, I, I, no harm can come out of that. He's Prime Minister of all people. Um, you know, he should be listened to even to his de detractors. Um, and, you know, if, uh, but he needs to go in disguise. We don't want to see him there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were finance minister before, and right now the country is facing difficulty regarding COVID-19, yeah. and the economy is yes. shrinking. So what would, we, what would you do if you are finance minister right now? More, more handouts? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> but um, I think the government does have a role. Mm. Um, when, when you've got this very uh, uh, special situation whereby um, both supply and demand side are being significantly uh, disrupted by an outside factor, um, you, know, you, 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 have to, you have to find a way to, to resolve immediate problems. Um, and particularly what I'm concerned about are the SMEs. Um, small businesses, uh, they are always short on cash flow in any case um, and source of fund is, is, is not as easy to access uh, compared with large companies. So I'm not so concerned about large companies. I don't think the government should even be concerned about GDP numbers or anything like that. It's all about survival mm -hmm. um, and survival means cash flow. Mm -hmm. uh, so whatever it takes to extend a lifeline of cash flow um, to um, small businesses. I think that that's what needs to be done. Don't forget that over 90% of the uh, Thai uh, working public works for SMEs. Mm -hmm. if, if you let a business, and, and if, if uh, the situation remains like this, let's say in the tourism sector, mm -hmm. for another couple of months, many of them will just go out of business. Um, maybe within a month they'll go out of business. And if, uh, to do, if you know, a business uh, goes bankrupt, it's very difficult um, to, to recover. So you, you mustn't allow them to go bankrupt in the first place. Now, the government has a lot of fiscal space to do that. Um, uh, you know, the current budget calls for uh, a deficit of about, what, 370 billion? Mm -hmm. um, but the, the legal borrowing limit for the government is about 700 billion baht. So they, they have room, but they should be using it intelligently. Mm -hmm. um, and Frankly, you know, I'm, I'm not sure whether uh, a straight cash handout mm -hmm. at the moment uh, will do the job. In fact, I know it won't. Um, they need to specifically target policies towards uh, helping uh, SMEs um, go through this, this mm -hmm. current crisis. Mm -hmm. Besides the economic side of the whole uh, epidemic, so how do you see the handling of the government? <laughs> I see it the way everybody <laughs> else sees it. It's been a mess. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, what I would do different, uh, and it's not too late, mm. um, I think is to, to, to make sure that you have a, a, a single command center on this issue. Uh, this, this issue could easily uh, deteriorate even from mm. a very bad situation that we're already in. It, it maybe it could easily get worse. Um, so right now, uh, what you need to do is set up a command center. It could be the prime minister himself, or mm -hmm. it could be the minister, a deputy prime minister, or minister of health. But that person uh, needs to be given uh, the authority across different government uh, ministries mm -hmm. and given across given uh, different uh, government uh, and this departments. Happen this is not happening yet. No, mm -hmm. um, and and so. Uh, with that command center, you have a, uh, a single voice mm. um, that communicates also with the public. This is important yeah. because a lot of the problems has, 
uh, ar arisen out of confusion. Mm -hmm. um, different ministers saying different things at different times. So one single voice, one single command. And then, most importantly, transparency. Wow. Um, we need to know uh, the facts. Um, and the government uh, needs to have, you know, let's say, twice daily disclosure um, of key data mm. um, and, and, and key uh, uh, orders um, so, so that everybody is clear. For example, if you were to read the news right now, um, you know, Phuket is, is, is very confused right now. Mm. Um, there's this order from the Ministry of Health uh, that, uh, that says we should control um, all arrivals from the four riskiest countries, um, but, but no clear procedure. Mm. Um, so they don't know uh, what to do um, if there was, a, say, a tourist coming in from South Korea. Um, how do they intern them? Yeah, and yeah. if so, how and where? Uh, how, you know, th these things all need to be these spelled out uh, yeah, clearly, succinctly, and in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. And it can only be, that be done if there is a, a single, basically, command center in a war room. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what they should do. In fact, that's what they should have done from the start. Back to your party, you said it's like ton gla, yeah. or seat for change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the change you are moving Thailand? What's your focus? What's your hope? Um, well, uh, one thing for sure is that the, let's say the, cur the current model um, is, is out of date. Uh, I, I'm the, the last of the baby boomers. <laughs> I had a uh, very fortunate uh, in that my, almost my entire working life was, was during the boom period. Uh, for Thailand when we were becoming industrialized. Um, so this is the 80s through to the 90s, even right up to the financial crisis that we faced in 1997. Um, we had economic growth, 8, 9% each year. Um, it was easy for us to you know, build, build, a, build a good life. Mm. Um, that opportunity clearly isn't available to the current generation. Um, and the question they're asking is, uh, you know, what will change um, that will allow them to have hopes for uh, similar opportunities that our generation, my generation had 20, 30 years ago. Uh, well, by doing the same thing that we did 30 years ago is, is not the answer, uh, given all the changes that has happened. So um, we, first of all, acknowledge the fact that the old model doesn't work. We need a new model. Now, what is that new model? You have to look at the facts. You don't have to look at, to see what, what has changed and what is continuing to change. Uh, our demographics have changed. We're already an aging society. Um, technology is changing all the time. Are we up with that? Well, clearly, no. Mm -hmm. So one of the most important tasks um, for, for GLA uh, in government is to uh, digitize the whole country, um, to digitize the government itself so that it's more transparent. Um, it serves the people. Uh, in, in, in a more efficient uh, mm -hmm. uh, and transparent way. Um, and, uh, and, and through doing so, we, we create uh, new opportunities that currently uh, it's, it's just not available. But it must be really tough to do so, especially in equality in Thailand. It's um, still very vast. Well, I, in my, my belief is that you create, you, you, the best way to resolve inequality is to provide opportunity. Um, and, um, but the best way to provide opportunity is you need to re-engineer the, uh, the economic structure um, that exists today. Um, we, for example, um, have been talking with uh, uh, tech experts um, with the idea of creating a national platform um, which will allow uh, small producers right down to the individuals uh, to have a platform whereby uh, they can access markets uh, directly. Um, and um, uh, you know, that kind of opportunity using the advent of technology um, is the kind of thing that needs to be done in order to help uh, provide opportunity and reduce uh, inequality. You say it's difficult. Uh, nothing, nothing is easy. Um, but uh, the good news is that a lot of what needs to, we need to do is already being done or has been done elsewhere. Um, you know, I've 
went to Estonia to see how they uh, completely reinvented government. Mm -hmm. um, and it's through technology and, of course, mindset. Uh, the technology bit is easy. The mindset is, uh, is more challenging. But it shows that it is possible. I went to New Zealand to see how they completely reformed their cooperative systems in order to take care of their farmers better. Uh, again, um, it's, uh, it's been done. Um, it would work for Thailand as well, uh, I am sure, and would help provide the necessary research and development into uh, adding value to the agricultural products, will help uh, farmers have more control mm -hmm. uh, and over their own pricing and products uh, and a direct access to markets, at least via uh, a revamped cooperative. So there are models of change. Um, we were in Israel uh, to see how they managed water. Uh, right now, nobody's talking about the drought situation in Thailand, but it's a, mm -hmm. it's a huge problem. It's, I, I'm, I'm hearing it's the worst drought we've seen maybe in three or four decades. Um, and it's affecting the livelihoods of you know, 11 to 15 million farmers around the country. Um, but we've, we've been to Israel, a desert country, um, and we've seen how they manage water so that their farmers have access to water 24-7, uh, 365 days in a year. Um, it's, it's, it's not rocket science, it's, 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 it's science, but it's not something that we can't emulate here. Um, but it all uh, starts with the, the, the right mindset uh, to sort of get down and do things. Um, and uh, that's what we intend to do. As Kunata said, you are not a new political comer. And you were in the government, and you belong to the country's one of the country's biggest and the oldest party before. Yeah. So this time around, what makes you think that you uh, you can do things that you were not able to do in the past? Um, what changes that have well, I, that I, I, that? I, that uh, yeah, I can tell you that uh, for certain, uh, I can't do what I intend to do if I remain at the Democratic Party, um, and and that's the reason why I decided that, uh, as, I, as I was saying, time waits for no man. Okay. Um, and Thailand uh, certainly shouldn't have to wait mm. much longer. Um, and that's why I decided to uh, What, what, what prevented you from party. doing things that you would want to do? Well, uh, you know, that's, uh, uh, the reality was that I, I ran for party leadership, mm. um, hoping that uh, if, if I was party leader, I would be able to affect some of the changes that I felt was necessary. Uh, the party disagreed and, and wanted to continue with its old ways. Okay. Um, and that's, I, I don't begrudge that. Mm. It's, 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 it's their, obviously their right to make that decision, but it's my right to, uh, to disagree. Okay. And um, uh, yeah, so I decided, mm. you know, I, I, I still have the fire burning okay. in me to. <laughs> to um, do what's, what I, I believe mm -hmm. is necessary for this country. I um, and I felt, therefore, that uh, I, was, I had a better chance of doing that um, through a, a new venture with like-minded people um, than I did with the Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. We got a comment, perhaps you don't quite like it. He <laughs> said, your vision of policy quite similar with the disbanded Future Forward Party. No, so no, how no. would be? It's, it's quite it's right. Glad be very unique. I, I, I tell you, I, I was. Uh, uh, well, thank you for that. Um, I was um, uh, chair of the policy for the Democrat Party uh, for the last election, mm -hmm. and uh, one thing Kunabizit and I was um, was musing uh, is the fact that a number of our policies, uh, if you ask which party had 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 the closest. Uh, uh, pol um, policy platform to us. It was actually future forward mm -hmm. in, in, in a number of more progressive areas. Uh, we went even further than them on some, some issues um, uh, like provincial elections and so on. Um, but we, all, we both believe in decentralization of, of power and, and also budget. Um, uh, you know, we, we believe uh, in, in in some of, we, we, we shared some certain same similar views on issues of uh, uh, gender equality, mm -hmm. uh, other liberal ideas. Mm -hmm. um, but there, there were some, some key uh, differences, and, um, and there continues to be some key differences. But that's also normal, mm -hmm. um, and that's why we're a different party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. You have been in politics long enough to know the 
in and out of, of, of this business. So do you think the good intention and uh, public appeal are enough for me to win an election? No. Um, what else do you think you need? <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you need to be pretty thick-skinned. Um, and, and you need a level of stubbornness mm -hmm. uh, and a level of arrogance, too. Uh, I, 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 I've often been called arrogant. Were you arrogant? Throughout my working life. Were you? Am I? Yeah. Uh, more, more like. <laughs> I, I think I can be. Mm. Um, I do believe in myself okay. uh, to a degree, but uh, I've, I've been, I'm, I'm old enough to, mm. to also acknowledge my, my weaknesses. Uh, ever since uh, I was in private sector, um, I made sure that I surrounded myself with, I tried to surround myself with people who were more capable than me um, and had uh, expert knowledge in fields that I feel I'm weak in. So um, I don't have a problem with that at all, but I, I do uh, have faith in my own good intentions. Yeah. Um, and uh, and can be stubborn um, mm -hmm. in in getting my way. Mm -hmm. No, but a lot of people still believe that money is the determining factor uh -huh. in the election. Do you think it's still the case? Well, um, everybody, it, all the political insiders, mm -hmm. also acknowledge that the party that used uh, probably the least money of all in the last election mm -hmm. per MP was Future Forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I think another thing they taught us is that uh, uh, you can be smarter um, with, the, with the use of money. And what's more important is, uh, is, is your message um, and, uh, and how you deliver it. And um, that's not enough, by the way. Uh, you also need good intention um, and uh, an ability to execute. Now, that's key. Um, Thailand is, has always been weak in, in execution. We, we have no shortage of good ideas, um, no, no shortage of people with an opinion, um, but uh, a, a, always a surfeit, mm. a shortage uh, of um, people with the uh, commitment to uh, put thoughts and ideas into mm. practice. Mm. Um, and I think that's where we intend to make a difference. Um, we are building the party to be a party of doers. Um, we are accumulating, as I mentioned before, uh, people with uh, expert knowledge, but critically, people with a proven record of, of, uh, of action and, and, and execution. Mm. Um, and I think that's the most uh, important uh, missing uh, aspect mm. um, or missing quality. Uh, in, in Thai politics of late. Yeah. You know, one, one lesson we have learned from the past is that uh, more often than not, political parties that may started off, may have started off as a sort of a, a party with good ideas, with good people. Right. But toward the end, uh, they tend to end up being dictated by just sort of a small clique of people or mm -hmm. just single individuals. Uh -huh. so that's something that uh, you are aware that you may not want to happen. But one very positive lesson I learned uh, from the Democrat Party was the importance of, of uh, genuine democracy within, okay. within, within the, the organization. Um, it shocked me, actually, when I first arrived 15 years ago coming out of business. Uh, I wasn't used to it. But I, I immediately appreciated uh, its necessity um, because, you know, when you're a political party, uh, you're looking after the interests of all ties and the needs of ties. Of, of, of different uh, uh, action group, groups, yeah, yeah. different of, of um, uh, economic levels yeah. uh, are very different, mm. and so you really do need to listen to everybody um, be before making uh, a decision um, that is fair for all. Mm -hmm. uh, so the listening process is important, and the Democrat Party was very good at that, and, um, and and that's something that you know I will continue with. At the same time. Uh, a decision needs to be made, okay. um, and we must always re remind ourselves that meeting and talking is not doing. Um, and, uh, and 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 where we think we will be different and better um, is in the doing part. Okay. So. All right. 
So that's the vision and what Kun Gon has to say about his new form party, GLA party. Thank you very much, Kun Gon, for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you. And that's all from Thai PBS World tonight. Kun Thep Chai Yong, Kun Gon Jatika Vanit, and me, Natha Komanwatin. Say goodbye for now. Swadika. 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 Swadika.